Hey, what's up? I haven't spoke to you guys in a little while. It is April 29th, 2023. It's springtime and it's release day for me. I am releasing a song called In Excelsis Deo. And if you're not familiar with the phrase, the whole phrase is Gloria in Excelsis Deo. And that means glory be to God in the highest. And it was the song that I was working on when my dad was approaching his final days. And he recently just passed away on March 8th. And I'm dedicating this song in his memory. Because he was the guy that brought in art and music and literature into our family. He was an opera singer and an actor and a professor at uh, college in Pennsylvania. And I miss him, miss him very much. So I don't want this whole video to be a downer, even though that it is a downer, that he's, uh, he's no longer suffering and he's, he's with God. So I love you, Dad. I miss you. And I know that you're proud of me. And I know that you fought, you fought a good fight for a number of years. So this song was created here, mainly behind the drum set. I uh, wrote the, uh, the drum parts first and I had a certain vibe that I wanted to, to go after. I saw a band called the Propeller Heads live in uh, Los Angeles, probably 1993, 94-ish, maybe even 95. And they had uh, a live, live bass player and a live drummer. But they were also, it was a two-man group. Uh, you should check them out. They had a couple hits in the 90s. They had that electronic vibe, but they were also played live instruments over top of the tracks and that's something that I kind of aspired to over the years because I thought it was so cool that you could actually see some people with talent even though that I've seen other bands electronic bands play live it never quite felt like a live situation unless you had a live drummer there so check out propeller heads but the whole main thing behind this was just a real aggressive 303 based grooving hard hitting track and I came up with uh, Gloria in Excelsis Deo quite unexpectedly I'm, how did I even come up with that because um, I'm not really a religious person per se but the times we're living in you really have to choose, don't you? Do you go with these demons that are putting out this horrendously satanic, demonic music that's dark and gross? Or do you go towards the light? And it's becoming, in my opinion, it's becoming clearer and clearer that you're going to have to pick a side. I mean, I could see being young and stupid and, you know, wanting to go out and party. And, you know, I still believe in partying and enjoying and having a, you know, a good time. But the kind of stuff that they're pushing on kids now, it's uh, unforgivable. You know, so rather than getting to uh, intellectually spiritual, just wanted to touch base and uh, let you know I'm still here. And uh, now that we've wrapped up my father's affairs, pretty much, uh, hopefully I'll be able to get back to making some videos. Uh, on a regular basis. 
So I guess that's it. Just a short one. And uh, love your parents. You know, thank God I had a good group, good 10 years of talking with him every night on the phone and a, and a good uh, year or so of him out here in California with me and my wife um, because they don't last forever. All right. God bless you guys. Peace. <laughs>